I think it's time that you and I have a little talk. Today, I want to talk to you about Z-Gibbers. <laughs> Z-Gibbers, what a funny word that is, right? Well, it stands for biological cues. It's actually a German word for time givers. But in this video, we want to talk more about circadian rhythm entrainment. What does circadian rhythm even mean? And what Z-Gibbers you should look for to entrain your circadian rhythm. Now, circadian rhythm is the light dark cycle of the day, of a 24 hour cycle, of a 365 days per year globe that spins around the sun. It controls when you eat, it controls when you sleep, it controls when you have sex, it controls when you go to the bathroom. It controls so many different aspects of your life and can cause, this dysfunction of this can cause uh, anxiety, depression, insomnia, um, overweight, and a plethora of downstream effects that come from just not having the proper biological cues from your outside. And many chronic illnesses actually have one or another dis dysfunction in their <laughs> circadian rhythm. So in this video, I want to talk to you about Z-Gibbers as we discussed that German word. What they are, how to use them to your advantage to entrain your circadian rhythm, and my best biohacks to make sure that you are well entrained. So let's get this video started. So as I said previously, Zikgeber, which is a biological cue, also known as a time giver, helps you entrain your circadian rhythm. Now. When we think of our circadian rhythm, we think of what time do I eat during the day? Do you wake up, eat right away? Do you fast? Do you stay up past the sunset and eat then? Now, everyone is a little bit different, but to re-entrain your circadian rhythm, we want to make sure that you're sticking to a proper circadian rhythm. So the best ways to do that are eating within a 12 hour window or wherever you are the time of year, the light cycle. So you want to eat during the sunlight hours. So when it's sunny out, sunrise, that's when you eat. You can eat your protein there. And when it's uh, sunset and becoming dark, that's when you can eat, or that's when you eat your last meal. But you don't want to eat in the dark hours. Eating during the dark hours can cause some problems with leptin and a few other biological mechanisms that we're not going to get into in this video. But that is a very important Z giver. So we don't want to eat during the dark hours. Another Z giver that you can pay attention to is blue light. So the sun produces a whole bunch of different lights, but one very important light that entrains your eyes through your suprachiasmatic nucleus is blue light. So when you wake up, you get that stimulation in your eye, it stimulates dopamine, and dopamine is really stimulatory. So blue light can act like coffee. I feel the same feelings as coffee. Actually, coffee can be a zookeeper if you uh, take it every morning at the same time consistently. So you can use coffee as a zookeeper. But blue light is so stimulatory, I will use it purely in replacement of coffee even though I like drinking coffee as well, it just tastes good. Another zookeeper that you want to pay attention to is avoidance of blue light as well. So just how stimulatory it is during the day, having it at night can keep you up as well. So if you use blue light blocking glasses to block out blue light, that can help after the sunset hours. So I actually have two different pairs of glasses. One are an orange pair of glasses that block out just blue light, and I have a red pair of glasses that block out both blue light and green light. Green light can disrupt melatonin production. It's not necessarily as stimulatory, but it can disrupt melatonin production, which is melatonin is a hormone you need for sleep and repair and a few other antioxidant mechanisms and other things with cancer. But that's a very important thing to do if you want to entrain your circadian rhythm. Number four, this Z Gipper is really, really, really important. If you exercise, you want to do it at the same time every day. I like to do it in the morning while I'm fasted, 
and haven't eaten all night, that just helps me. But you want to do it around the same time every day. Because if you start switching it up, if you do exercise right before bed, it's going to keep you up. If you do exercise and you're used to doing it in the afternoon and you do it in the morning, it can really mess you up circadian rhythm wise. That's not to say that you can't exercise twice a day. Just be consistent with what you're when you're doing it. Another zookeeper I want to talk about is when you are having sex or making love or whatever it is you do with your partner or yourself, <laughs> having fun, is you want to stay consistent with that as well. So social interactions and those sexual interactions as well act as biological cues. They tell us what time of day it is. So if you're having sex before bed every night, that really helps and train your body. And finally, I want to go over a point that's very important as well is staying consistent throughout everything you do. So keeping to a strict schedule of how your routine is. So if you wake up at a certain time, you wake up at that time every day. I recommend waking up around sunset. And if you go to bed every time, you go to bed at the same time every day. So I go to bed around a few hours after sunset. And if you eat, you want to eat at the same time, eat breakfast at the same time, eat lunch at the same time, dinner at the same time, exercise at the same time. So keeping this routine and staying to it is really important for entraining your circadian rhythm. Most people are all over the place, their stress is all over the place, and their work schedule makes them that way. If you can stay consistent with how you're doing it, be social at the same times, work at the same times, engage your brain activities at the same times, not before bed, but maybe in the morning or during the day when you're working, then you can help retrain your circadian rhythm. The sun is so important. So I just want to reiterate that one more time, sticking to the sun, because there's a reason there's a sun there, will help you entrain your circadian rhythm. Now there are some exceptions to these Zeke givers. Uh, genetically, if you have mutations in certain clock genes, if you have endotoxemia or a vagus nerve disorder, uh, that can mess up your circadian rhythm as well with these Zeke givers. So it's so important sticking to it if you're trying to get better on your path to recovery and feeling better. So I hope these Zekibers talk helped you and I will have more videos about sleep enhancement and more things like this on YouTube in the future. On myboughhack.com you can read more about Zekibers. I have a, a list of 32 at least on there that you can read over if you are more into the science about it all. So thanks guys for watching and stay beautiful.